Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll understand about how do we navigate the designer portal of the ICS. And also we'll see some of the samples which are provided by the ICS environment so that we can kickstart the sample integrations. So the basic flow of any of the ICS program which you design or the ICS integration which you design will have these set of components. So the source connection as well as target connection and the source connection will have appropriate mapping with the target connection. So like uh, you will be receiving some data to the, your, like you'll be dumping some data into your ICS and this ICL, ICS will perform a transformation and you'll send the data to the target environment. Okay, so basically when you want to design an integration, always you require at least one connection. Without having a particular connection, you cannot design any integration. Okay. So these are the steps involved in creating any of the ICS integration. The first thing is you have to understand is you have to create a connection. Once a connection is ready, you can make use of that connection while creating an integration. And in, when, when you create integration, there are different set of types which are available, okay? So then based on the appropriate type, you can select an integration style. And then you can, you, you may require, you need, to, you need to make use of a mapping stuff. And then, you know, like once your mapping is ready, and if your program is 100% done, you can just activate the integration and you can run it. And once you run it, you can validate the integration integration functionality by going by getting into the monitoring monitoring platform, and then validate the payload, validate the errors if it is having any, and then deactivate or rerun it again. You need to check the status. So coming to the designer portal, so the designer portal of the ICS will provide these set of functionalities. Here, here if you observe carefully, like on any of the integration, if we just click on view. It provides these set of options, like you can view the integration, you can edit it, you can clone it, create a version, export it, delete, submit, submit, you can only, like, if at all is a schedule one, right? You can just do a submit or you can add a new set schedule and even you can perform a deactivation of it if you want to edit it. And also you can check out the tracing of that. So these are set of the actions which designer portal provides for the integration. And when you come to the integration platform for the first time, when you click on integration, by default, Oracle provides some set of samples so that you can quick start, you can easily learn them if at all, if you, are, if you have not worked on the ICS. So using this sample integration, you can explore more and you can design good amount of complex integrations also. So the famous set of samples which Oracle provides as part of ICS is one, Echo as well as Hello World. These two integrations are very much very simple one and provides good amount of sample functionality which makes us a REST connection, okay? So here, if you observe, like uh, how do you invoke the echo sample integration which is provided by Oracle? So the first thing is here by default, if you observe all the things are in a deactivate state. So until, unless your integration is in a, in a active state, you cannot run it, okay? So first of all, what you have to do, you have to activate it. Once you click on activate integration, it will ask you to set a, enable a set of properties so that you can activate the integration. Like uh, enabling, the, uh, enabling the tracing one, enabling the payload. And once you click on activate, it will show this kind of icon in front of the integration. Once you click on this one, by default, it provides an URL on the top also saying that this is a URL using which you can find out the information for your REST integration or the request request information, request payload as a REST re, uh, response payload of your integration, okay? So now what you can do is you can just click on this one and here if you observe, this is what it provides the total information about your appropriate integration. Like uh, here, if you observe the endpoint URL, it tells you this is an endpoint URL so while invoking this particular REST web service, you have to mention this particular one and also pass the parameter so that you can expect the response similar to like this. So that is what it is saying. Okay, let's run this particular sample. So here, if you observe the echo sample, which I already activated. So assume that let us say if it is deactivated. Yeah, so I'll just click on deactivate. It'll just take a couple of seconds to activate as well as deactivate, okay? So when, when you deactivate, what will happen is, all the earlier runs which you have run on this particular integration will be will get wiped out okay all the earlier runs will get purged out so once you click on this activate so it is asking whether you want to enable the tracing and also it is asking whether you want to enable the payload i think what the data which you pass to this particular integration as well as the response it provides for the integration this is called payload right so i'm just telling it to include the payload in the tracing activate it Okay, so now once you have done the activation, what it is doing, it is providing a URL. Click on this URL, it will go to another page. Okay, so copy this endpoint URL. So this is the endpoint URL using which we can invoke the REST integration. So there are a couple of different tools which are available to 
invoke the REST integration. One of the famous tool is SOAP UI. Other one is Postman client also. Now what I'll do is here in this particular message, I'll just say article ICS. So this is my message content. I'll copy this URL. I'll go to the SOAP UI. Okay. So I'll just remove my existing project here so that we can start from fresh. Fresh. Click on rest. Mention the URL. Click on OK. So now make sure that you add the authentication here. This is authentication of your ICS instance. Now click on this particular like green button, run button. And the method type of the rest which we are invoking is get method. So don't change anything. Let it be get. And yeah, wait for some time. Click on JSON. And you can see that you know the message was successful. And also you can see the status response, right? Somewhere it provides, yeah, in the raw. It says the status is 200. Okay, it means that it has successfully invoked. And also you can monitor the response of your REST web service from the monitoring portal. So you click on monitoring, click on the integration, and you can see that for the echo integration, you should see one particular request, right? One received, one process, and one success. And also you can click on tracking, and you can find more information on this one also. Right, the message which we passed to this particular ICS instance was Oracle ICS. You can just click on this one. Okay, the instance ID is 43010. Right, and you can just click on this particular hamburger icon and click on audit trial. Yeah, so it says message received, processing completed, and all these things. Okay. And you can also click on runs. Okay. So errors, there is no errors, right? So yeah. So this is how you can invoke any of the sam in the sample integration of Echo. Similarly, what you can do is you can just invoke the other integration, which is a very good integration also. Hello world integration. And here, if you observe some more information on the echo integration, now let us say if you want to understand how this particular sample is designed, what you can do is just check out the source code of this one. So, how can you do it? So, just click on this one, click on this echo. It here, if you observe, it shows in a view only fashion because if the integration is already active, it will not allow you to update it. So, it will open in the view only fashion. If you at all, if you want to modify it, then you have to deactivate it and then you can edit it okay but still what we can do is we just want to view it right so you can just see the layout in a horizontal fashion or a vertical fashion okay based on your comfortness you can just check out the appropriate layout and also here if you observe the first connection this the source connection it is having echo request right so this is a data this is the initial connection which is getting used in this particular echo integration okay so this is a request it's a rest integration and here if you observe the endpoint url slash message and the type is get and the parameters also configured accordingly add a review parameters and configure this endpoint to receive the response also so in the request parameter there's no request parameter as such only just have a URI, URI specific parameters and similarly if you see the response right so they have this particular response which was mentioned here right so this is this was a response which was mentioned in this particular rest connection at the connection level not mention anything okay when you just create a rest connection you just mention the connection name and the endpoint url and the parameters and all those things you'll men you'll configure it while using in the integration okay now this is a log message and this is a mapping one and this is a response one so this is how this echo was integrated echo was designed and similarly we'll just see one more sample which is called hello world so if you see, let us say if I want to edit on anything or in this one, or if you want to see the information properly, what you can do is you can just deactivate this one. Just toggle the button, it will get deactivated. Yeah, now click on hello world. Okay, so here if you observe the logic of logic of this particular integration is, so let's click on this integration in this particular connection, click on view. Or edit it either way. Now the basic click on the basic information. It what it is saying. So it is asking to provide the information like this slash names name and the set of parameters. You just see the request parameter what it is expecting. So it is expecting two parameters. One is the email ID as well as flow ID. Okay. And what is the response it is providing? The similar response. Let's click on this one. Yeah. 
right is providing this particular response three parameters okay and click on close so here if you observe the switch condition right so if the email id is not null if the email id is not null it is going here if the email id is null it is going to another condition that's the logic which was designed you can expand it properly to have a appropriate look and feel okay now this is just a logger it's like sop system dot out dot print ln or uh, yeah dbms output in the pl sql or system dot out dot out print ln like in java okay now this is a mapping one and this is a send email functionality so these are all the list of actions which are available here if you observe the invokes right it shows list of actions which are available in this one so we'll discuss more in detail about all these set of components but initially we just want to understand the existing sample so that you can design similar samples in a very easier manner rather than working on it from scratch okay so now here if you observe just always observe the existing sample so that you can learn in a very faster manner so in the send email sample here if you observe just click on edit and you can see what is the content it provides and it is taking the from address to address and the subject it is providing the name right so click on close okay close now what i'll do is i'll just activate it here okay enable payload enable tracing yep click on this endpoint url now here if you observe so in the resource right the name slash name slash this is the parameter you have to provide for the name and the remaining are two parameters which you have to pass okay or you know here if you observe there's a different way of passing the other parameter values also what you can do is very simple copy this endpoint url and now just prepare your payload request accordingly now let's see three ram and i'll just see this other parameter let's see three ram tech and now other one the flow id value what you can do is this is not used anywhere just mention the value as one copy this url and now what you can do is go to soap ui you can just simply make use of the existing connection already or you can just click on new rest rest connection either way it will work okay i'll just copy paste here i'll remove this information whatever it is there in the resource level now just simply click on this run button and see what will happen now it's still running okay now just see the json so it provided this output and click on draw yeah it has 200 okay it means it's a perfect it got executed and other way you can monitor is look go to monitoring okay that's the best way to validate whether it ran or not go to monitoring click on integration and you should see the hello world now right hello world received received and also you can just see the tracking one hello world right we can just see this instance id and this is the integration name and this was a parameter name which we passed as part of endpoint url okay now here if you observe the green color one right so we provided an email that's why it went like this similarly what i'll do now is i'll just say i'll not provide email so what i'll do is i'll just not provide email now so i'll just say i'll remove this and see what will happen now now again run it yep so it says the email id address was not provided and now go to the integration and see the the new instance id which should have created now yeah 430012 and here if you observe it would have went with another loop now another conditional logic second conditional logic right it went with the otherwise so this is how you can validate your particular navigation of your instance at the runtime after invoking it this is how we can trace it properly whether it went into a particular condition or not whether how where it reached and all those things you can check out okay so this is a hello world sample integration which oracle provided using this what you can do is let us say if you want to design a similar sample what you can do is just go to the designer integration and just simply perform a copy right clone just click on clone right simply you can mention that's it right now we can just play around with this one rather than creating everything from scratch this is one of the easiest way to start with start learning and here if you observe the connection which was used by this particular sample is 
here if you just mouse over on this one it tells you the trigger yeah again try trigger sample rest endpoint interface right click on connection and you can see that particular connection which was created as part of this particular sample sample where was that sample rest connection right rest endpoint interface you can just click on this nine number nine it is showing right click on this it tells you which are all the integration which are using this particular connection by this you can confirm okay this is the connection which is getting used in this particular samples and here if you observe the rest connection which was created by using which was created in this particular connection there is nothing here if you observe the type is rest connection and the type the style is triggered that's it okay so how can you create a connection very simple click on create connection when you click when you want to create any connection always you require an adapter to be selected i'll just select the rest adapter here select the rest adapter and the invocation style just simply select as of as of now as trigger later on you'll understand what is the need of other kind of integration connection other kind of role okay so i'll just say rest connection that's it click on create and always validate so that you can use this particular connection in your integrations save that's it okay now this rest connection is ready it it should be a green color the icon should be green color it means that it got activated now this is ready for getting used in the integration so this is all about the sample integrations which are provided by oracle of course there are other samples which are provided but they may not work until unless you have appropriate uh, ftp and other connections thank you